While attending a party at James Franco's house, Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel, and many other celebrities are faced with the apocalypse. Uh, th this is the end, as we know it, and I feel fine. Alright, just, just roll the trailer. I feel like a goof. <laughs> I have the best weekend ever planned. James Franco's having a giant party. <laughs> This place is beautiful, man. This place is like a piece of me. You two just stepped inside me. You let us both come inside you. Yeah. Boom. Thanks, James Franco. <laughs> what the f Alright guys, so this is the end. Um, came out last uh, Wednesday, I believe, June 12th. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see it last week, unfortunately, but uh, finally saw it tonight, Thursday. That's when I'm recording this. Um, and yeah, it stars James Franco, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel, Danny McBride, Craig Robinson, Michael Sarah, Emma Watson, and much, much more. Uh, I don't want to spoil uh, all the people that are in this movie, celebrities. Uh, but, um, let me just tell you that there are, uh, a few cameos, and some of them are pretty funny. Uh, so, this movie, the premise, I thought was awesome, okay? All these actors, they play themselves, uh, I guess specifically exaggerated versions of themselves. Um, and it was just awesome seeing these guys. Uh, I, I love them all, you know, I, I've seen Pineapple Express, super bad. Pretty much 21 Jump Street, all these movies that these guys have been in. And I love all those movies. Uh, I love the humor, the actors. They're all comedic geniuses, in my opinion. And uh, I'm not kidding when I say that. Uh, probably some of the funniest actors I know, or in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah. Going back to the premise of this film. Uh, as I said, they all play exaggerated versions of themselves. Uh, it follows Seth Rogen and Jay Baruchel. They're two uh, best friends, I guess you could say. Good friends, I don't, I don't want to say best friends. But um, pretty much, uh, Seth Rogen is going to James Franco's house, and he invites Jay to go with him. And Jay's kind of hesitant, he doesn't really want to go too much, but Seth is like, come on, it'll be fun, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be m many celebrities, and uh, lots of drugs, lots of booze. And uh, there sure were a lot of booze and boobs and drugs and hugs, I don't know. But yeah, so they go to the party, and they have a good time until something terrifying happens. Uh, people get sucked up into the sky, and um, it's pretty crazy, they don't know what's going on, uh, and they all seem to think it's the apocalypse that is occurring, and um, there's much more to it, I don't want to give it away, but I mean, pretty much... Uh, a group of these guys that were at the party um, barricade themselves inside of James Franco's house and pretty much try to survive the night uh, or not the night, the whole freaking rest of their lives they try to survive, okay and um, you know I thought this could have been a hit or miss premise and in my opinion it was a hit uh, it could have been very boring one of the most original comedies I've seen in a very long time. Uh, comedies like this aren't made anymore. Um, just a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, so it was a breath of fresh air seeing uh, this film made. And uh, I was just very pleased with everything. Um, uh, so yeah. CGI. There was CGI in this film. Now, um, my friend Nick turned to me during one of the scenes... And it was where this uh, ceiling pretty much caved in, f fell on top of this old lady working at this uh, kind of market. And um, he's like, oh, that, that looked really stupid. That, the effects were terrible right there. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But, I mean, I think it was done in a comical way. Not too serious. You know, it was just, oh, well, what the hell? What the hell? It wasn't supposed to look fantastic. I'm sure they could have made it look awesome, but it was much more comical in the way they uh, made it look. Now, um, what I mean by that is later on in the film, 
Uh, I don't want to give it away, but there's monsters. Um, and the CGI, oh my god, it was fantastic. Uh, these creatures were terrifying. Uh, like, really, I mean, they looked fantastic. So if they want to make something look right, they're going to do it, okay? So you, you can tell because they really took the time to make these creatures look as terrifying as possible. And they did an A-plus job, in my opinion. Uh, kudos to whoever, uh, the effects team and everything, uh, really pulled pulled off the creatures. They looked incredible. Um, so, yeah. But uh, aside from the CGI, this movie was hilarious. It was very funny to see the characters, you know, um, characters, actors, riff on uh, their shitty movies that they've made. You know, um, uh, Green Hornet was mentioned. Uh, what else? Uh, Spider-Man 3 was mentioned at one point. Uh, Your Highness. So it was uh, really cool seeing them acknowledge the fact that some of their movies in the past weren't so great. And uh, yeah, it was nice seeing that. Um, this movie is surprisingly dark, like, very dark in some scenes. Uh, I would consider it a black comedy, kind of. Uh, very violent, and um, it's quite a lot in this film. I'm not complaining. I love dark humor. Yeah, it's very vulgar and definitely not for everyone. Aside from the dark humor, there's quite a bit of raunchy humor, vulgar, sex jokes, you name it. Uh, which I can't say I'm surprised. It's by the guys who made Super Bad and. Pineapple Express, right? Uh, the writers, uh, uh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, definitely not for everyone. If you know these guys, uh, I'm sure you're going to see this film. Uh, yeah, so I, I say it's worth seeing if you uh, enjoy these actors' films or just enjoy their humor in general. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very raunchy, but at the same time, it's uh, very dark and something very unique that we haven't seen in a while. Um, definitely stands alone from any other comedies that have been made in uh, the past few years. So, uh, yeah. I overall give this movie a 9 out of 10. Uh, yes, it's, it's equivalent to Superman, Man of Steel. I'll admit it. I don't care. You know, I really like this movie. I'll definitely be picking it up on Blu-ray once it comes out. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, if you want to check out my friend's channel, who uh, saw this film with me, Nick, uh, you can click right here, buddy1623. It'll take you to his channel. And subscribe. Uh, he's a cool dude. Um, also, another cool dude, so to speak, is uh, this guy right here. Subscribe to his channel. Talk to him on YouTube. He's like, yo, man, can you give me a shout-out? I said, sure, I'll give you a shout-out. No problem. So, uh, subscribe to his channel. He's a cool dude. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I'm going to be, in, I'm gonna be uh, on vacation for the next week, so uh, there might not be many videos but uh, I'll try uh, is, uh, try and put out as many videos as I can. I want to see The Heat, uh, World War Z, Monsters University. So hopefully you can, uh, I'll, I'll film some reviews of those films. Uh, but don't expect them. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises. But uh, I'm just saying hopefully I can uh, put out some content in the next week or so. I'll talk to Jackson, see if he can do anything. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you've seen This Is The End, be sure to leave your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. Tell me if you liked it, if you didn't like it, anything you want about this movie. Uh, start a conversation. What's your favorite comedy of all time? Uh, favorite Jonah Hill movie? Favorite Seth Rogen movie? Uh, whatever you want. St uh, stay away from spoiling the movie, please. And, uh, yeah. And I'll see you later. <laughs> The sheriff's office is urging people to stay in their homes right now. Ah! Looting, rioting. For all we know, the Lakers could have just won, and that's the reason why all this is happening. I think it's the apocalypse. It's all in here. And he opened the bottomless pit. The sinkhole? Every single time I turn on the news, sinkhole in South America, a bunch of South Americans getting sucked into the ground. Sinkhole in my ass. What's the right, son? We should just stay in here, fortify this bitch, and take inventory of all the food we have. We got 12 bottles of water, 56 beers, Nutella, CT Crunch, a Milky Way. Can I have that Milky Way? No, you can't have the Milky Way. It's my special food. I like it. I want some of the Milky Way. I'd be pretty bummed if I don't at least get a bite of the Milky Way. Emma Watson showed up. Here we are with the to drink. There are six of us. You cannot rob us. Oh, yeah. Hermione just stole all of our shit. <laughs>